All right, guys, so welcome back to Texas Bread. And I want to thank you guys for supporting us. We finally reached our goal of 1,500 subs, and we're going to do the giveaway. It's going to take us a couple days. We're going to get with the, the company we ran the, we ran the promotion with, and they're going, to, they're going to, however they do it, randomly choose their winner and notify us and let us know. So I'm going to call them, let them know that uh, it's done, it's over with, and we'll have a winner here in the next couple of days. So we'll post a video about it, um, and hopefully we'll contact the winner and get this hunt on. But uh, we want to thank you for the support. We do appreciate it. And as long as we're getting support, we're going to keep making videos. We're going to keep trying to trying to do some new things, try different things, and uh, get better at this. Get 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 it, Make it interesting every time. So we're working on it. Bear with us. But uh, we do appreciate everything and uh, all you subscribers and uh, all you viewers. Back to it. We, last night... I had a rough night. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put some footage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the footage on here. I got up, pissed off, couldn't sleep, and uh, just kept. Basically, I had varmints messing with me all night. I got some decent footage of it. I'm gonna show it to you. But I'm going on very little sleep, and we got a long night ahead of us. We got some pigs to kill. We got some land that's being destroyed, and the 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 landowners are calling us saying, hey come out here and we have we've been out here we've we've we're working all the fields that that for all the people that uh you know get us to come onto their property we're working it it just we have a lot of land and it takes a lot of time to spend at each individual place and when we go to a place and we're not seeing any activity it's hard to make ourselves go back to it whenever we have so many fields that are getting activity and we are killing and we are you know uh eradicating the the, the problem it's just it's, it's tough to make yourself go back to a place where you just don't have a lot of action. Even though I can come out here visually in the daylight and tell they're getting destroyed. But every time we come out here, it's like we can't, we're just not having any luck. So anyway, we set up a feeder. We set up, uh, we threw corn on the ground. We, we got corn on the ground. We got a feeder set up. We got range cubes and we got pig out all on the ground. It's been there for two days and we're hoping they're coming to it we've had some cameras on it and the cameras weren't really functioning properly so so we have now hung four cameras we have four cameras all over the property depending on which end they're coming in from and we're hoping it happens tonight even though we just set the cameras up today we're going to get to where we can maybe routine them and uh, start doing some killing and, and save some of this property but we're gonna be out here all night. We're gonna haunt them, we're gonna move around. It's about 600 acres and it's pretty thick in certain areas. And we're just gonna, we're gonna work. We're gonna try and get it done, try and knock some of this out and show the landowners we are doing our job. We're, we're doing what you asked us to do and, 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 and what we're good at. So we're gonna sit here and uh, wait till it gets dark and we're gonna start killing some pigs. Guys, I'm out here at my ranch, and I have been pestered by this thing. He keeps getting up underneath my, my little camper here, and I don't know what he's scratching on, but he's scratching on something make, driving me nuts. Anyway, finally, start looking for him, and <clears throat> he comes walking out and climbs up the tree anyway. The uh, only thing I really had here without uh, turning on my, pulling the batteries off the chargers and getting my thermals out to, to shoot him, I have one bullet in my pistol, and I'm staying here by myself this weekend, so I'm not wasting or this week, so I'm not wasting my one bullet. But, uh, so I'm sitting here, he's scratching, driving me nuts, he come out, and the only thing I really had, I was shooting earlier, uh, target practicing. I'm about to head to Africa, and I've got a bunch of animals on my list, and I do, I want to be prepared. So I've been shooting for the last two weeks, uh, doing a whole lot of shooting, and that's all I had, but all I have was field tips. So I end up, uh, I end up shooting him with a field tip. Goes right through him. I don't know if I'll be able to slow the camera down far enough. I was only like 13 yards, but uh, I'm gonna slow the camera down and try and get it on, uh, see if you can see it. But passed right through him, and he never fell. Eases down the tree, moses on off. So anyway, that was pretty neat. But I can't believe a field tip wouldn't take out a possum. I'm heading to bed, got a long day tomorrow, 
Wes. Me and Wes is going uh, to a uh, place we've been hunting several times and just hadn't had a whole lot of luck. And we've got some cameras out right now. Wesley, while well, I came out here tonight and uh, got cameras going, got feeder, put protein, did a little uh, maintenance yard, little yard work here around camp. And uh, he corned today and we set up cameras last week and the pigs are thick. I mean, I mean, they're coming in by the groves, I don't know, 30 and 40 at uh, three or four different times throughout the night. So we're going to, we're going to hang out there tomorrow and see if we can't get some, uh, get some pigs on the ground. But anyway, there's a little target practice on the possum. All right, guys, I'm back up again. So the scratching and the clawing and the, the whatever the hell is going on underneath my camper is still going on. It's 1.30 in the morning. I worked all day out here at the ranch, and I'm beat. I just shot a possum that got up and ran ran off. He's bleeding like crazy. Um, but I couldn't find it. I didn't really go chase him, but he come down the tree and took off the opposite way. I thought he was the culprit. I thought he was the one scratching and making all the commotion underneath the camper where I can't even sleep. And I flick on all the lights, comes out from underneath my camper, walks right here by this chair, and then goes into this big old thick brush. And uh, his armadillo this time. I thought it was the possum the whole time making all the, the noise and the, the commotion, and it's not. It's this armadillo. I just, like I said, I seen him go into this brush. I don't know how, I mean, that is super thick. I don't know how I'm going to be able to find him. But as soon as I go back in, he's going to come back under the camper. I don't know what's under there. I don't know what they're digging for. But uh, anyway, i got to take care of this problem or I'm not going to get any sleep. So I've got to, we're heading hunting tomorrow. We're going to be out all damn night. And uh, anyway, i got to get some sleep. Problem solved. Possum down, armadillo down, now it's time for sleep.
So this is going in this video for tonight. Uh, I was going to end up telling you, I end up showing you the video of the possum and the, and the uh, armadillo. I end up finding out that my gray water is leaking just a little bit. I had the valve crack just a little bit. And I guess it's bringing in the armadillos and the possum and the raccoons over there to, to uh, get some water. But uh, anyways, we had a good night finally on this property. Landowners will be happy. We ended up shooting 11 or 12 pigs. Ended up working out real nice. We finally, finally saw them. We know they're there and we know they're tearing the ground up, but uh, we just hadn't seen them. And finally tonight we saw them and uh, we were able to get some down and hopefully solve the problem or stop the problem or slow the problem down for just a little bit anyways. But uh, like I said earlier in the video, we appreciate all your support. The giveaway is over. I'm gonna contact them uh, tomorrow and we will get a winner and I'll announce it on the next video if I have the information. If not, it's gonna be real soon uh, and we'll give it away and, and uh, hopefully get somebody down here hunting with us. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give us that thumbs up. We'll catch you next time on Texas Bread.